jump up twice. And we're now on the other side. Super missile, missile. That takes care of that. And right in there is our mysterious artifact, but we do not have a means of getting in there at the moment. We have a dark bean door there. And we have a bombable slot there. Okay, I thought How do I do this puzzle again? Well, not like that Let's see maybe I can get some clues Luminoth Vault Chamber. Vault is composed of numerous super alloys, all Luminoth origin. No known weapon system can destroy this structure. Oh. Yeah, see, sometimes it just takes a scan system to... to activate in order to complete the puzzle. Go into the dark world. Go into the dark world. Going to Dark World! Dark World! Woo! Okay. So before we leave this area, do I have these creatures? I do not. Dark War Wasps. Okay, Dark War Wasps are scanned. Let's activate this trigger. Go through the portal. It does, it is unfortunate that this is a non-skippable scene just because of how often we have to deal with it. I do not remember seeing you there moments ago. Ah, that's because it technically wasn't there moments ago. Get to this last one. Get on the plat in the boost ball. In we go. In we go. Okay. Oh, my nose is so buggy. Okay. Let's get back to this platform. Jump in the boost ball booster. Spin around again. One. Two. Super Missile, and Regular Missile. Sometimes it just takes a bit of methodology to get used to fighting the enemies. 
but there's usually a quick way to deal with enemies. This is the last boost ball we have to do. Now in order to complete this puzzle, Knows it, bugging me. Don't you just hate that? We have to go back through the dark portal, go swinging across the line again in the ing hive, back to the light portal, go through the light portal, and then activate the bomb slot. Light beam. Off we go. This is quite fun when you know what you're doing. Now that we know what we're doing, let's get this last. This is also the last suit upgrade that is not part of a boss. Nor is it part of the final items. This is the famous screw attack. Screw attack acquired. So this game does have limitations to what you can do with the screw attack. For example, you can only jump five times. One, two, three, four, five. It does give you great distances to travel, such as... One, two, three, four, five. We can now cross these big chasms. Now, why is this really good for us? Well, for starters, we're going to eliminate all those guys. We're actually going to head back down this elevator shaft thing and get ourselves that key. It's not a matter which route we take. Dark beam. Back up to this room. Now that we have the screw attack, we can research this. This is the wall jump surface. With the screw attack, you can now perform the famous Mario wall jump. I believe this is infinite. As long as there is still places to go in your jumps, you can keep doing that forever. Bless me. Dark Temple Key, one of three keys. This is our second key. So now I need to figure out where is the last key. We're gonna drop all the way down. Let's see. We 
been all the way here. Been through all these rooms. This room did not have the key. That room's an ammunition. Nothing there. Save. Here. There's the temple. We got the key there. So I think the only place that's left for a key to be in is here at the Hive Entrance. Which is not accessible from this side. So we're gonna make our way back. Get on here. You've been through all of this. Been through all of this. Yeah, it has to be somewhere over here. Let's see. I am... Where? Where? Where, oh, where is this pesky key? Has to be this way. Let's... Pull out this map. Okay. So, if I am to believe this map, which I should be believing this map, it says that the Dark Temple Key is inside this room. It is by panel 8. Panel 8. Ah, it's a good thing I didn't make it all the way back up to the beginning. Let's see. Yeah, we'll take the the long shortcut. Jump into our morph ball. Roll to here. Up and down. Let's go in. Up here. So there's a reason why in the gyro chamber's dark side that that center ball is magnetic. And I always always I always forget it this is the one key that I always forget about because it's in the most obscure place that you probably won't even think to even try looking let's show it off just to make sure that if an ink drops that it gets vaporized right away so Here.
There's the key. This is the last key. We are right outside the temple doors. So what I want to do... Is get to the save first. Which is this way. Right where we began this episode, or this stream. In we go, save yes. Now that we are in, in we go. I believe I need the far side. Anyways. Ow. Yeah, needed this far side anyways. Let's put in the key. Or keys. So the last time we put in the keys, it started flooding the room with poison water. This time... It just opens. Turn around real quick. Okay. This is a very long fight. This thing is so large that it has multiple phases and multiple body parts to scan later on. Mechanism Quadraxis, rogue high security drone, heavily armed and light, heavily armed and armored mechanoid, lightly armored foot joints are vulnerable to bomb and boost attacks. So there's a lot happening. You do want to go fast. You want to break all these circuit boards that are pinging. I feel I missed one. Right there. It is able to move quite fast. Okay, get out from underneath. Now that it's foot joints are gone, you can target it's knee joints. I recommend... I think... A lot of this is just a lot of...
well placed bombing. So we got rid of one plated leg. Let's get rid of another. Super missile. It does give back a lot of healing material. Get, I think. Ooh. That. I don't really know how to dodge the spinning vortex attack. Okay, so we just have one more round of this whole break the legs, and yes, you do have to break all the legs. the last one with shielding. Wait for it to sparkle blue. Uh, I almost want to say just get hit by the spinning attack. It's almost better to get it t done and taken care of that way. Yeah, because I can't get into... Okay. So we got all of the...